Hey, my beautiful tribe, welcome to this week's energy forecast and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Sarah Louise, an intuitive and a reader of the cosmic weather, here to share with you my take on what's coming up this week. And boy, oh boy, do we have an interesting week coming up. So we're walking out of August, we're walking into September, and we have what I'm calling a once in a blue moon week. And why is that? Because we have the second super full moon happening in a month. Yeah, so we had a super full moon at the beginning of the month, we had a new moon, and now we have another super full moon falling right at the end of this month. And when that happens, they call it a once in a blue moon moon. We're kind of quite familiar now with the energy of a super moon. So when I say we've got one coming up this week, you're going to be feeling it. Yeah, and this is the third consecutive supermoon. We have one more in September and then we're done. Yeah, but they have just come bang, 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 bang. And it's not like, you know, a normal year where we have like one and then maybe another one at the end of the year. And it's like, oh, this year it's like, oh yeah, supermoon, whatever. Like we're totally getting used to these. So this one is particularly special because it is, it will be the brightest, the closest to Earth. So it will look the biggest, the brightest. So probably is going to affect us the most because we know that when they're close and they're big and they're bright it's lunar energy and it affects our emotions it's big shifting big clearing for us we know full moons are end of a cycle letting go clearing you know massive letting go also illumination on things when it's a super moon it's like you know i was gonna say double impact but it's like so much more than that yeah it's like i always say it's like a, a full moon on steroids the fact that it's the third one the fact it's the most potent one of the whole year it's gonna be big and you're gonna be feeling it already i know you are i know loads of people are super feeling it and that it doesn't mean that you're feeling it in a bad way you just gotta feel like the energy shifting and changing and letting go and remember that when we're letting go we're moving on one door closes another one opens is that beautiful saying that change is the only thing that is, what's it called? Change is the only thing that is for, you know, for sure. It's like a definite, yeah? Because we're always changing. The cycles are always changing. So we can't resist right now. We have to go with the flow. This supermoon is in Pisces. And, you know, let's think about that Pisces, that fish in flow, super deep, super spiritual, super sensitive. Yeah, this moon's going to be all of that. Yeah, there's potential for a lot of healing this week and over the last few weeks. But I feel like with this super moon, it's like the end of the cycle. Yeah, we're coming right to the end. So it's like that last little bit of letting go. So it's not like, you know, like when we go into a new lesson and it's like really powerful and we're overwhelmed, you know, with emotions and, you know, something's come up for us to learn, to get over something from our past usually come up to be healed. So we have to like look at it, feel it you know, go back into it, yeah, and that can be really kind of quite painful and like confusing and so that's the beginning of the cycle, I believe. And then we go through kind of understanding and looking at it in different perspective and then we come to the end of the cycle, the lesson, where it's like we, we've got to let it go and that's where I feel where we're at with this super moon and the next one coming up. It's like we've got to let it go so that we can move on, yeah, so that we can kind of do things differently. And so if you find that, you know, stuff may come up for you during this week, you may be a bit sensitive, like go with it, allow, allow that to happen, but please don't go deep into that, you know, reactive, unconscious, you know, because a super moon has, you know, every, every alignment has a positive and a negative effect. And, you know, we want to ride the high, the positive, take the blessings, you know, and kind of ride the high wave. But, you know, we have a choice too. We could, you know, drop down if we're not being conscious and aware and doing the work, you know, where we're going to get really overwhelmed and, you know, really emotional and really stuck and really oversensitive, a bit over dramatic. And oh, it's just like... Why do we want to do that? 
yeah let's ride the high wave let's let go let's move on let's embrace change let's bring it on let's open let's trust yeah and really kind of be in that beautiful energy this week of these huge illuminations of like wow you know change is happening this is incredible um so that that energy that super moon is totally going to dominate this week we've also in virgo season and you know we're in this first kind of few days really um, we shifted last week and Virgo season is very much get organized, get ordered, write the lists, do the work, clean the cupboards, spring clean, you know, get on top of your stuff. So really tune into that energy. That's that's going to make you feel empowered. If you feel on top of stuff, you know, clear the clutter, you're going to feel like you're, you know, on your game. But we also do have by the end of this week, we've got six planets in retrograde. So that's when planets are in, a, in retrograde it's like the energy slows right down so when that happens we kind of like you know we, we may want to really get on with stuff and we have to do it in this kind of slow way and it, the energy can feel a little bit sluggish sometimes so you know know that that's there and flow with it i keep telling you just flow with it if we know that there's a lot of planets rec retrograde you know, it's it's not the time to be like, you know, doing deals, but it's the time to be looking and reading about, you know, possibilities. And it's not the time to be, you know, buying something, but it's the time to be out there looking, yeah, and slowly, slowly. So I just want to remind everyone this week, this has become very clear for me lately. And I love how the universe very much shows me kind of in my life you know the way that things kind of pan out so that i can share it with you in a in a really logical way so i'm very aware that life can be quite challenging and i know for a lot of people at the moment the challenge is kind of on to step up to change you know all these super moons it's like change step up what are you worth are you going to do the same thing are you going to keep bending over are you going to keep laying down are you going to be walked over or are you going to own your worth you're going to step up you're going to speak your truth you're going to be true true to yourself are you going to be this incredible authentic being yeah that's like the pressure's on everywhere and um quite often i feel like the universe will test us it will challenge us just before we go through a big growth so it's like um something new is kind of circling us but before we can reach for it we have to kind of prove that we really want it that we're worthy that we align with it and i've really seen that recently with one of my family members my daughter who you know was having a really challenging time at school and had to really step up and step away and be independent and you know for a little person that's really tough you know because you know when we're young we just want to fit in and be part of it's our human nature you know so to be isolated from the tribe and you know it can be really challenging i did a lot of work with her and so did beautiful friends of mine around you know step up on your worth walk you know step aside like that's not your tribe you know you'll find your people um you know don't lay down don't bend down don't become a victim be the victor rise up step up she really did that in a really kind of you know brave way and i could really see the test for her you know and this weekend you know she competes and she swims and we're away and she's done incredibly well and she's gone to that next level and i'm like ah so the universe a couple of weeks ago tested her are you ready for it can you handle it i, I do you feel worthy of it so she you know two weeks ago on the floor crying today so i say that because when you're challenged when you are challenged you ca we cannot fall down into victim yeah we cannot do poor me we cannot go why me poor me and all that anymore just not gonna it's not gonna take us where we want to go we have to go okay well there's lessons in this for me these aren't my people i step away i i rise up i own my worth i don't take that attack i'm not i won't be bullied you know we have to do that and step away and do whatever's right for us in that moment and then the universe will go okay well if that's what you think you're worth so yeah it's challenging times yeah we've got another super moon yeah it's huge but is it bad no is it amazing yes if you're going to be challenged you're going to embrace it yes because you know the gifts that are coming through oh my lord wow so i share that with you and 
I will be live online for a session this week and just a couple of hours after that supermoon peaks on the day of the brightest, most powerful supermoon of this whole year because, you know, I don't want us to be lunatics losing it. You know, I want us to be empowered and rise up and just take all of the gifts and all of the illumination and all of the blessings that are available. So if you want to do some work this week, join me live online um, Thursday, 7 p.m. Brisbane time. You can join live. You can get the download. Yeah, but please do some work under this super moon. It's a biggie. Um, and yeah, let's keep stepping up and stepping into our best life. As I say, I'm buzzing with my daughter this weekend. Like things are really good. Some really amazing stuff's happening. And amazing stuff can be happening in your life too. Step up, do the work. Have an amazing week. I will see lots of you live online Thursday, 7 p.m. Brisbane time. And those that I don't see live online or in a download, then I will see you next week for our um, weekly. Have an amazing week.